mysterious fibrous clots are showing up inside people who have recently died. Some embalmers say the clots are found in most corpses these days, and they've never seen anything like it before. And a warning that some viewers may find the images in this report disturbing. Several embalmers across the country told the Epic Times they've been observing strange fibrous clots in corpses they work with. They report the phenomenon started either in 2020 or 2021. They say the clots stand out because they're exceptionally big, at a maximum as long as a human leg and as thick as a pinky finger. The embalmers also say that clots in corpses have become much more common. One embalmer said he finds them in 50 to 70 percent of all corpses he works with these days, up from 5 to 10 percent prior to the pandemic. It's not yet known if the new clots are caused by COVID-19, the vaccines, or something different. However, many of the embalmers say from what they've found, it seems like the clots are connected to the vaccine. Some doctors speculate that the spike protein used in the vaccines can cause string-like structures which the body doesn't break down. The clots found are lacking iron, potassium, magnesium, and zinc, which according to experts shows that these aren't just normal post-mortem clots, because normal human blood always has those nutrients. And earlier today, I spoke with one such embalmer, Richard Hirschman from Alabama. He tells us more about discovering these clots and what compelled him to speak out. Richard Hirschman, welcome to our show. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Stefania. Glad to be here. Now, tell me, why did you choose to share your findings? Well, I decided to share my findings because I felt like humanity may be at stake. There's definitely something that has changed that I have noticed in the blood since the middle of last year, maybe around May or June of 2021. And it's been eating at me, and therefore I have to come out and speak to say, hey, something's wrong. Most doctors aren't going to see what I see, and I have to get it out there because I feel like humanity might be at stake. And what makes you think that this could be related to the vaccines? Well, at first, I thought COVID was responsible because there were some reports of uh, uh, extra clotting that was going on with people that had COVID. However, so many people uh, uh, were having these clots, but didn't have COVID. So therefore, it's, it's the timeline of when this stuff, I started noticing this. The, the, the timeline being the middle of 2021, you know, you know, four or five, six months after the rollout of the vaccine is when I really started noticing the difference in these clots. Therefore, I feel like, you know, there must be a, a, a correlation there. And do you think that many in the medical community are turning away from abnormalities like this? Well, I'm sure many people in the medical field are seeing it, whether they have time to investigate or whether they're afraid to speak out or be censored. I have no idea, but um, I know that there's people in the medical field that are seeing it. So why they don't come out, I, I, I don't know. I know you've told the press about this. Is there anything else that you're doing to try to find out what's causing it? Yes, I've been reaching out to some doctors. Some doctors have reached out to me. I have sent samples to different doctors around the country, and they are investigating this. And hopefully we'll come up with uh, answers as to what this is. But most importantly, the reason for coming out was to find solutions in order to help people. You're not the only embalmer seeing these changes. You've said that some people may not be speaking out due to fear of retaliation. Why is that? What are they afraid of, do you think? Well, there's a few reasons. Um, one, nobody wants to be the first one on the dance floor. Uh, but another uh, reason is a lot of times it seems like the media, social media, people want to you know, ridicule, uh, make people look like a fool. And so I think they're just afraid to speak out because they don't want um, to be made an example of, just like the doctors that have lost their jobs, just like the nurses that have lost their jobs for refusing to go along with the narrative. I think people are just afraid to speak up nowadays. And why aren't you afraid? I am afraid. 
but I feel like God has led me to this point in my life where I feel like I have to do this. I know something's not right. I know what I see. And, you know, no matter how much people try to discredit me or say anything bad, I know what I know. I have samples to prove it. I didn't come out initially because um, I didn't have any evidence to back up what I'm saying, but I have lots of evidence. I have vials and vials of samples of these clots. I've sent dozens out to doctors and pathologists. I know what I see and I, what I see is not normal and it's not right. And therefore I have to do what I have to do. All right, thank you so much, Richard Hirschman, licensed funeral director and embalmer. Appreciate your time. Thank you, Stefania.